going on guys welcome back trail mix episode three we're in the willamette whitman national forest that's in oregon um we're a little bit outside of sumpner oregon we're about seven or ten miles outside of sumpner oregon which is kind of a little mountain town off of i-84 so if you're looking for this place you want to take i-84 to the baker city exit and go off and you go south about 27 miles to get to here um so we're gonna go explore here we just found a trail so we're gonna get some footage for you guys um, there's about eight trails in the area there might even be more i might be undershooting that a little bit um, but i know one of the trails the south shore one goes along the whole shoreline of the lake so that's the one that we're hoping to do here we haven't seen any signs indicating you know different trails being marked a certain way or anything like that so <clears throat> hopefully we don't have trouble finding it but um but yeah that's it anyway um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, guys. We're going to have some more footage for you as soon as we get on the trail. All right, guys. So we're about almost a mile into the trail here. Still, you got the lake over there. Um, this is more or less what the trail's been like, just kind of dirt. Pretty flat, easy trail, but scenery's good. Now, it branches off here. You can stay by the lake that way on the shore, which is what we're going to do. We're going to stay on the South Shore Trail. You can also go to this... Uh, deer lick trail here which actually goes out into the forest I love how it's even more difficult <clears throat> yeah and this one is as it states here um, a more difficult hike um, so maybe we'll come back for that one a different trip but we're gonna go on the south shore trail here and uh, I'll check in we'll check in with you guys here on the next mile all right guys we're at mile two now we're still on the South Shore Trail, which is going this way, but we came to another split off where it's the same trail that we were at earlier, the Deer Lick Trail. So it must just loop through the woods and come back to the same trail. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, raining on us and hailing on us a little bit. It's a little bit of a gray kind of drizzly day, but it's good. It's not cold. It's about 52, 53 degrees out here. It's not windy, so. It's kind of nice even though it is a little bit of rain coming down it's it's not bad at all and it's not muddy the ground isn't too terribly muddy so um we're gonna keep going here and once we actually get down to the shore um we'll show you some footage of the actual lake here so keep watching guys also if you're watching this far don't forget to watch the photo show that we put at the end of the video end of each video there's going to be all the pictures that we took so um stay tuned for that We'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, mile three. Trail splits off here. So that way stays by the shore. That way goes somewhere over there. There's no name for this trail that it splits off to, though. There's no sign like the last one to tell us what the name of the trail is and so forth. So, But we're just going to continue on our path going down here. Now, The map, according to the map, when we calculated it, we guessed it to be about an eight-mile out and back. So four in, four out. Um, which means once I reach that point where we're turning around, I'm not really going to be filming the same stuff coming back. So um, we'll do the, the wrap up and stuff after that and then the photo show and all that stuff. But uh, I won't be doing any more video once we're headed back. So, but I'll shoot some when we get to the, to the four mile mark here. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're a little bit over four miles in and we've reached the other side of the lake. So we started around that corner over there on the other end of the lake. And we walk the south shore all the way to the other side. So this trail goes all the way from one side to the other. You can keep going a little bit. If there's another maybe half mile, 
maybe a little bit more than half a mile that you can keep going. So probably if you did the whole thing out and back, you're looking at around 10 miles, um, nine or 10, somewhere in there. We're gonna end up right around eight or slightly over eight, so. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, apparently she found a shoe down there. Why are you messing with people's shoes? She fished, fished up a, a shoe down there, so. Uh, no, I would say overall, it's a nice, easy trail. It's flat, there's not really much uphill or anything like that. Um, so it's good for, you know, if you're just looking, you're not looking to exert yourself, but you want to get out of the house and go walk around, get some fresh air, this is definitely a good trail to do that. Perfect for running though, because it's it's really, it's not super flat, there are some dips and valleys here and there, but not, you know, um, like hiking up a mountain basically. So good for light walking, you know, if you want an easy hike. Also good for, for running if you want to do some trail running. Um, I would definitely recommend it. It's about a two hour drive from Boise to get here. Um, so we're gonna head back to town. Stay tuned for the picture show coming up after this. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Till next time guys, from us here, take care.